Torture Talk. All right, I want to do a little something. Today, I want to talk about, I want to speak on the guy who was murdered in Minneapolis, Minnesota, uh, Floyd. Uh, his name is George, George Floyd. I think that's his name. Um, uh, and the police officer who, who murdered him. Um, it's a very sad situation. Um, my biggest issue with America is, uh, how would I say this? Um, that man was killed. That man was murdered. And police officers, they see this behavior all the time. All the time. They see it all the time. They see it. They see it. I'm sure that they see it on the news about cops who kill black men. I'm sure they see this. They see this behavior all the time. So I don't understand why they feel as though that they still have the right to do certain things that they do. Now, I don't know if that's protocol of putting your knee on a man's neck. I don't know. But I do know that if a man's saying he can't breathe and he's not resisting and you already have four other guys, well, three other guys, well, you might as well say four because you have the Asian guy blocking people. So you already have four other guys. And this man saying, I can't breathe. You do know that a dude died by a cop who screamed, I can't breathe. And you still kept your knee on that man's neck. How do you live with yourself? I don't understand it. You kept your knee on that man's neck after he was saying, I can't breathe. And your fellow officers sat there and listened to him say, I can't breathe. Unfucking believable. How? How? How do you live with yourself? How? Listen, I don't advocate for people getting killed. I don't think that people should get murdered. I don't think that you should go kill somebody. I don't think that. But you got to understand. There's consequences for your actions. You might not get hurt. But. You see it now what's going on in your city off of your stupid negligence matter of fact no i'm saying i'm sorry not your negligence or for you being a savage and not taking the proper respect as a human being to say let me let my knee off this man's neck because he could actually die you see the ramifications behind it i just don't understand how your kids I'm sure you have kids, and if you don't have kids, I'm sure that your neighbors and your friends have kids who are on social media who probably share this of black men getting killed by police officers in America. And that's not even a thing. That's not even a thing. The biggest thing is you do know, you do know that America has an underlying tone that people are waiting to riot because of the racism that we feel as though goes on. Now, you might not think or you might not feel that there's racism that goes on. You might be like, oh, no, nah, ain't no racism going on. It's just cops. There's racism every day. And on top of that, you got to understand the frustrations that black people have to put up with, even with themselves, even with them pinning 
us against each other. Even when we pin each other against each other, we got to put up with that too. So as a black man in America, that's very scary that I could have been the one on the ground with a cop knee on my fucking neck. And I'm saying I can't breathe. That's a horrible, horrible sight to even think about. Just just the imagery of that is horrible. It's horrifying that a cop today could put his knee on my neck and kill me. I just don't understand it. I don't understand how you live with yourself. I don't understand how any cop in America cannot see this and say, well, maybe we need to change the way we assess things. Or maybe we should change. Maybe you can't put your knee on a man's neck. Maybe we need to change that because if he's not resisting and you got your knee on his neck, he could potentially die. No one asks that question. No one asks this question inside of the academy when you're sitting there in front of your fucking teacher and he's telling you, hey, put your knee on his neck. No, none of you motherfuckers say, hey, listen, uh, I mean, there's vital organs and, and, and all types of bones in your neck that you can actually crush. Um, you don't think that if the person isn't resisting, I know if I was a cop, if I was a cop, I wouldn't be a cop for long because I'm going to tell you right now, if I seen that, I would have put, I would have, I would have threw the cop off of him. I don't give a fuck if we on the same force or not, because there's no right to kill a man for basically, well, we don't know why he was on the ground. They say he was writing false checks. That shit don't even matter. Even if he was writing false checks, did that mean that he has to die? Fuck no. There's a lot of people who did way worse things that are in prison. And some would say because of the color of their skin. I seen videos where fucking white guys attacking a police officer and the police officer didn't do anything but tase him. That's it. He didn't even call for backup. So, again, my biggest issue with this is how do you live with yourself knowing that black men have been killed? I'm not saying all cops kill black people. I'm saying off the off the what you seen and what you heard, I'm sure you heard this. Why would you put yourself in a position where you would be the one to kill a black man? Now your life, your family, everything is ruined because of your stupid ass stupidity. Some would say you were racist. I don't know you to say you were racist, but I do know that you're a white man who killed a black man. What else would I supposed to think? White men brought black men to America and enslaved them. So what else do I supposed to think if I see a pattern? I don't get it. They could say, oh, yeah, you're not racist, but you are a killer. Just so happens it was a black man. Because I'm sure that if that was a white man. From my observation of you cops, I mean, yeah, cops kill white men. But it's not publicized. So, but if, if my observation of what I see, you wouldn't have killed that white man. No, you wouldn't have. That's the issue. How do you live with yourself? And my and another issue that I have is, is with black people. How do y'all live with yourselves knowing that? This type of behavior of burning your city down doesn't do nothing. Okay, yeah, you're gonna get you're gonna get you're gonna get the attention, but is that the type of attention you need? This is what I'm saying.
And I'm not telling people what to do and where to do it at and go kill whoever. I'm not saying that. I'm saying destroying your, your neighborhood does nothing. That does nothing. You got to understand that. Destroying your neighborhood does nothing. That means that everybody that's, that, that surrounds you, you done made them all unemployed. Or whatever, whatever jobs y'all looted and, and bu burned down or whatever. You got to think about these things. I know people are living in the, in the, in the, in the mob moment. I should say, because when you when you when you have that mentality of a mob, that's what you're thinking. Let's do this together. White, black, it don't matter. We just going to go do an uprising. But is this really justice? For this man? Or is it because you want to be a part of something? Because a lot of y'all, y'all only doing this for your own personal gain. Let's be serious here. That's it. Because guess what? There's black boys dying in Chicago right now. There's black boys dying in Florida right now. New Jersey, New York. I don't see y'all doing anything about that. That's my biggest issue with black people is y'all wait until something happens to try to start an uprising. But something's happening every fucking day in our neighborhoods and no one's doing anything about it. That's the thing. Y'all turn a blind eye to shit. But y'all never want to contain that. But y'all turn a blind eye to that. Start thinking about this shit, man, because this is very important. And I think that us as black people, we need to start obsessing the things that we do, because if we don't, it's not going to hurt them. It's not going to hurt anybody else. They looking at us like we're savages. And even if we doing it because of a, a purpose, they're still not going to accept you or still not going to say, hey, you're right. That's the worst thing you can ever deal with is somebody who you do all this stuff and they still say, no, you're wrong. We don't care. You're wrong. Now you just look, felt like you just did it all for nothing. So start take, thinking about that. You know what I'm saying? We need to change. What's, we need to change from what's within. That's why I respect all y'all don't. A lot of y'all hate her, but I respect Candace Owens. I do. Because she been saying this. She been saying shit like this. But y'all don't want to hear her out. Y'all don't. She been saying this shit. Start to pay attention. Stop voting with your hearts. Start to read policies and look shit up. Because I'm telling you right now. What's coming ain't good. Torture talk, man. You know what I mean? Listen, man. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Everybody need to get themselves together. You know what I'm saying? You guys don't want the military to come in. Because that's what they're going to do. And y'all can't beat them. So you, 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 we can do all this uprising, throwing bottles and listen, bro. If you going if you going if this if this is justice for this man, then y'all need to get justice for this man. But burning your stuff down is not justice for this man. And a lot of y'all out there only doing it because y'all want to fit in. Yeah, you know I mean y'all don't even know this man's name. Somebody they was some they asked some of y'all who are you what are you doing it for, and they couldn't even tell who he was. They just know that their friends are doing it. So again. Love y'all, man. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Torch Talk.